Are you tired of going to the store using these bags? Yeah, they're recyclable, but in many municipalities and cities and villages, you can't put these in the recycle bin. Luckily, some stores have a recycle bin outside that will take these bags back in and recycle them for you. But if you're tired of using these, and are you tired of these super flimsy, see-through, paper-thin reusable bags that some stores get for free, you may have to pay a dollar for, are you tired of using these? Well, stay tuned because I think I may have a product that will fit all your needs. Roll that intro footage. <laughs> Fam, we're back. Thanks for sticking with us. Thanks for coming back. Thanks for checking out another video. For all of our subscribers, thank you very much for hanging with us from the beginning and helping us get to where we are today. And for the new subscribers who have recently joined, a big ups and thanks to you because without you and our current crop of subscribers, we would not be able to grow. And if you're having questions and doubts about subscribing to my channel, check out some of our previous videos, check out this video in its entirety, and I know for sure that you will subscribe once you check out what we have to offer. Now, moving on. We've already asked the question, if you're tired of these bags, maybe you want something that's a little bit more robust, a little bit more fulfilling, and has a little bit more capacity and holding power than a bag like this does. Well, if you need something like that, let's chuck these to the side, then I think maybe you'll be interested in this bag right here. This bag comes to us from County Com and is their robust shopping bag, the RSB. This bag is overbuilt. When I say overbuilt, I mean it. When you get this bag and fill it, it's crazy. It's PVC backed ballistic nylon. We'll get into that in a second. This is what you'll receive if you decide to get this bag. The bag, of course, and it comes individually wrapped in a vacuum sealed bag. Although when I received both bags and the vacuum sealed, you know, one a piece, it wasn't vacuum sealed. There's a lot of air in it, but that's not a deal breaker, it's no big deal. But it's nice, it's a nice touch they do send this to you in a vacuum seal bag, and it's not a lot of frilly stuff. It's a bag within a bag to ship it to you. That's all you need. Again, this is a, what they call a robust shopping bag. If you wanna take this to the store with you for a quick in and out to get a few items, this bag will solve all those questions and more and you will also be able to use this bag for many other things because it's stupidly overbuilt. It's going to withstand pretty much anything you throw at it. Seriously, anything. And according to County Com, this bag has been tested. It's been weight tested to hold over 3,000 rounds of 9mm ammunition. Now, you can use it as an ammo bag. You got a lot of spare ammunition. Do you do your own reloads? Do you have ammo that's not sorted in, 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 a, in a case of any sort and you just throw it in a bucket? Maybe you want to take it out to the range with you. You can fill this baby up with 3,000 pounds, excuse me, 3,000 rounds, not pounds. Don't try to put 3,000 rounds in this bag and carry it. You're going to hurt yourself. 3,000 rounds of 9mm ammunition, no problem. It'll hold up to that. Take it out to the range, whether indoor or outdoor, you're covered. Let's go over some of the specs of this bag. Again, as I stated before, it's completely overbuilt. I mean, come on. The stitching on this bag is ridiculous. Everything is reinforced. All the seams are well joined. Look at this, this, this handle. Does it look familiar? This is seat belt webbing, not just some uh, alternative seat belt webbing. This is the same seat belt webbing that you're going to find in your car. Go check it out. It may not be as thick because all car seat belts are different, but the material is the same that's used in auto seat belt manufacturing. Stupidly overbuilt. You cannot, you cannot say that this bag is not built to last. It's got 1,274 cubic inches of capacity. I'm going to change my camera angle so you can better see the capacity of this bag, but it's, let's just take a look at it. 
I mean, the stitching is stupid on this bag. So let's change the angle so you can see how big this bag really is. Okay, here's a side-by-side -side comparo of the flimsy reusable shopping bag, okay, compared to the robust shopping bag from County Com. You can see the difference. Both bags stand up on their own, as you can see, but this one, you know, is really flimsy and it's gonna fall over simply when the wind blows. Get rid of that. This bag, the wind can blow and it shouldn't fall right over, even though it's empty, but of course, you know it probably will. Bottom line, overbuilt, 1,274 cubic inches. Let's put my hand in there, my arm. So it pretty much fits almost all the way up to my elbow joint. 1,274 cubic inches of capacity. It's PVC backed on the inside, which gives it some water resistance. So let's turn it inside out. So turning this bag inside out, don't worry about tearing or ripping anything. It's made for instances such as this, and I'm not even putting this through its paces yet. This is just an initial review and first impressions of this bag. Listen to that sturdiness, you can hear it. Turn it completely inside out, and you'll see the bones of this bag, why it will stand up on its own with, without anything in it for it to brace. It's black, it's gonna be hard to see, but this is PVC, folks. PVC backed all the way around. All stitching and piping, ballistic nylon, all the way around. I mean, look at this. You have no area that's open for accidental ripping or tearing. We got stitching and nylon and PVC backing all throughout. The handles, you can see on the inside here. So let's start at the top. Double and box stitching for the handle, which will secure it to the bag. And check the stitching out right here. All the way down. All the way down. Through the seam, which has been piped and double stitched on the nylon seam. All the way around. Here's the bottom of the bag. This is the bottom, folks. Double stitching on the handles both sides, as you can see, all the way around, and it continues to the other side, all the way up the bag. These are your handles. They're not just stitched and boxed and they stop right here. No, no, no. The handle goes all the way around the outside perimeter of the bag and is double stitched all the way around the outside perimeter of the bag. That means that it's going to withstand whatever rigors you put at it. It's built, stupidly built. Dumb built, way over built for what is needed for it. But what you get and the price, which I'll go over in a second, it's gonna be worth it. The morale patch area is also box stitched, not double stitched, just box stitched. But again, you don't need the double stitching for this patch. But just check out very little. We have very few spots where we can see where the stitching was not clipped once it was finished or where the fraying starts. But that's not a deal breaker. A few stray stitches and, and thread that hasn't been completely cut off once the stitch is finished, not a deal breaker. I've checked the stitching all the way around, and the only spot I found is right here in the bottom of one corner where the stitching did not go through the nylon piping and through the PVC backing and through the outer nylon of the bag. This is the only place where I found a design defect. And I can't say design, but a stitching defect. Everywhere else, all the stitches and joints seamlessly go together nice and tight. So in regards to this, I'll be getting in contact with County Com referring to this video so that hopefully they can see this. I'll take a few more still shots to lay that over the top. Maybe I can get a little bit of my finger. There it is. I can get my finger through there. You can see my nail poking out just a bit. And I'll get in contact with County Com and let them know what I found. But outside of that, this bag is a winner. It's, I mean, it's just crazy built, stupid built. So you'll notice right up here, we have the cage code. Cage stands for 
commercial and government entity. And this code of five Victor Kilo Bravo six, if you search for this cage code, you'll find that this cage code will direct you about, back to County Communications, County Com, Government Products Group. And County Com, they design and manufacture and also sell products to the federal, state, and local government agencies. So this is a way of identifying the business that sold, that manufactured, or designed a particular product sold to a government agency, whether it be federal, state, or local. Let's see what a few things that we can put in this bag and how much capacity is left. Fam, let's load this up with a few items, do a little weight check, and give you an idea of what you can put in here based off of these few items here. A few of my favorite drinks, we'll pop those in, do the weight, pick it up so you can see. So we'll do a six pack of Snapple. Fits in there nicely. Look at that, all the room we have left. We got a six pack of Pure Leaf iced tea, another one of my favorite. As you can tell, I love peach iced tea. Why not throw a couple six packs in here for representation only? No real brew, but if you got some brews, load this baby up. So we got two six packs of another cold favorite beverage of mine. And we're pretty much filled to the top. Now we do have some expansion room on the sides to where the bag kind of V's out to the side. This will be part of your uh, 1,274 cubic inches of capacity, but we do have more space on the side. Let's pop this on the scale and see how much this weighs. So putting on the scale, getting everything kind of centered and let it sit by itself. We're looking at 28 pounds, 14 ounces right here. Simple, easy. Let's see, look at that. Let it hit. I'm not worried about anything coming out. If anything, I'm worried about the contents on the inside uh, maybe exploding from all that carbonation fizzing and popping out. But as far as it falling out of the bag, it ain't gonna happen. I really, do it again. Nothing's coming out of this bag, folks. It's not coming apart. This is a winner. I think you should get one. And speaking of getting one, they're not cheap, but they're not expensive either. It comes in at $19.95 a bag. It's $20 a bag. One or two bags will hit you for 40 bucks. If you want to get more to keep in each one of the vehicles, you know, go right ahead. But I really think that for the price and what you're getting and what you can do, the versatility of this bag, I think that 1995 is a fair price. Again, I don't have any long-term durability test on this bag. This is just my initial first impressions and review of this bag. But if it'll help you out, I have right here a 10% coupon code from County Com. It'll give you 10% off your next order. And that code is Meritac VIP. And I will put that up on the screen so you can see it, copy it, and I'll also have it in the description box below. 10% off of your next purchase. Granted, for $20, that's only about $2, but every little bit helps. So again, Meritac VIP for 10% off your next order at County Con. All right, Sinister Supreme Team, in closing, do I think you should purchase this bag? Yeah, I do. But I can't give you any long-term, I'm talking about months of use, statistics on what I found from this bag. The only, only thing I can give you today is my first impression, what I feel right now, what I see right now, and what I think from the construction, how this bag will hold up in the long-term. And I think it will, but I can't confirm that. But I do not doubt, I'm with 99, 0.99% positivity that this bag will stand up to what you throw at it. If you're taking this to the store, pick up a few grocery items, a couple gallons of milk, some six packs, some 12 packs, whatever you can throw in here, it's gonna stand up to that rigor. And you don't have to use those chintzy plastic bags that may or may not be thrown into a recycle uh, into the uh, landfills or be recycled. And you don't have to use those little cheap paper thin bags that if you put too much in it, rip, rip, eggs cracked, milk splattered all over the place, and you look like Boo Boo the Food standing out there with bought groceries laying all on the ground. So, 
even with the 10% off coupon, this is a, a something you should really highly consider purchasing from County Com. I like the bag. I think it's going to work. Matter of fact, I bought two for myself. I've also ordered two more. And depending on the type of comments I get, if I get a lot of comments on this bag, in the, the comments box uh, below, we may do a giveaway and give one of our subscribers, one of our followers, one of these bags for free. So it could be a win-win for you. Make some comments in the bottom. Let me know why you would like this bag. Let me know if you think this bag is a good deal at $19.95. And we'll randomly, we may, let me just re re rephrase that. We may randomly select one subscriber to receive this bag for free. So let's go ahead and go on record now and state that if we get if we surpass, surpass the 100 subscriber mark, I believe we're at 80, 81 right now, so we only need 20 more subscribers. If we surpass 100 subscribers within the next 30 days, 30 days now, 30 days from today, we'll do a giveaway for one of these bags for free. But in order to win this bag, you must comment below why you think this is a good bag, what you do or don't like about this bag from what you can see, and why you think you should win this giveaway. So, 30 days, surpass 100 subscribers, we'll give away one of these bags for free. I have two more on order coming in, so I have one to give away. In closing, I'm gonna also send a few snapshots and the link of this video to County Com so they can see that spot that I found, and I'll do a follow-up video with what I get back from them, as well as a follow-up video further in the future that would, I will consider a long-term testing of this bag, and we'll see how it holds up. As always, fam, thanks for taking the time to check out Jay Sinister Productions. There are a million, a million of other YouTube video channels that you could subscribe to, that you could watch, and that you could give your time to. But we appreciate you stopping by. I am Jay of Jay Sinister Productions, exiting stage left.